and it also attracts cats. Ugh, if my booster attracted cats, I'd unboost myself. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to The Gaining Grounds. Before I begin this video, just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe button down below, and don't forget to give this video a like. I have had a busy week. I went to a lot of baseball games. I screamed a lot because Tampa Bay Baseball had a great week, and I ended up losing my voice. Uh, you can kind of still hear I'm a little raspy, but most of the week I sounded like Bobby Brady going through puberty. <laughs> You can kind of still hear I'm a little raspy, but I got to get this done. I got to check in with my girl, Amberlynn Reed. That is right. We're going to Kentucky. We're going to watch Amber's latest video called Grocery Haul and Trying Lamb for the First Time Pipeline Vlog. She's released like three or four videos since I've taken my voice hiatus. Um, I'm choosing this one because it's a grocery haul. We all know I love a grocery haul. And also she's trying lamb for the first time. I remember the one and only time I tried lamb. It was sometime in the mid-2000s, maybe 2005, 2006. It was a New Year's Eve. Uh, my friend's husband run, ran or runs a restaurant, so he was busy that night. So I was her date. We went out and we had a lovely, uh, we had a lovely dinner at his restaurant, and um, it was just not enjoyable for me. I don't remember specifically why I didn't like it. I just feel like it had a, a very weird, bitter or like sour taste. I, I don't remember the memory exactly, but I remember taking a bite and saying, "You know what? I'll try the swordfish instead." I usually don't like sending food back, but that lamb was not gonna. It was not gonna get in me. So. I'm curious to see what Amber uh, thinks of lamb. I'm curious to see what kind of junk she bought. I'm just kidding. We all know we all know she bought healthy, nutritious, unprocessed food. Uh, and then I'll probably check out the other videos in my own time. Um, I'm curious about the booster one and also how she hurt herself. But I, I might watch those live. We'll see. So come along with me. We're going to Kentucky. We're going to see what the hell Amber bought. We're going to see what the hell she thinks of lamb and if we agree. And we're just going to see what the hell Amber's been up to. I'm so excited. Can't you tell? Let's go. Okay, hello, hello, hello. So I'm just gonna start off with the obvious. I have been having major allergy problems with my eyes, especially. Eyes, interesting, because I'm actually starting to question, I usually don't get allergies in June, but I'm starting to question, was this from screaming in the bottom of the ninth inning, or is this from allergies? But I've heard other people say they're getting allergies right now, which is really weird, because I thought allergies kind of like are spring. I know we're still in spring, but technically I feel like we're far along into spring. Like me, I get allergies maybe April or May, then I'll get them again in September, but maybe I'm getting a resurgence, or maybe this is just me screaming like a banshee at a baseball game. I don't know. She's wearing headphones. I don't think I've ever seen her wear headphones before. I'm not sure if she's like listening to like a motivational speech while she's talking to us, but I'd be excited if she's got like Tony Robbins playing. If you know Tony Robbins, as you know, if you don't, just Google him. Is it Tony Robbins? Did I get his name right? I think I did. They have been like red today. It's this one. Um, in the last few videos, it's been like both of them. And I don't like polka dots. Amber Lee Reed, never wear this top or dress again. Thank you. People are saying that I'm like on drugs. I don't even know. My allergies have been bad. And I just noticed that it's like worse every time I play with the uh, cats because I am allergic to cats. Sometimes it's worse than others. And I don't know if it's like it being. You're allergic. She's allergic to cats. Did I know this? I purposely, when I got my little babies, I was like, I need hypoallergenic because I'm not going to love something that, that tortures me. If I want to do that, I'll just get married. Uh, so I was like, I need hypoallergenic uh, dogs so I don't be tortured. I don't be tortured. Ooh, Kentucky. I'm turning in Tamblyn Reed. Uh, so I'm, I am didn't know she had cat allergies. But um, people, of course, thought she was a Las Drogas because everything Amberlynn Reed does is under scrutiny. I think we all know this at this point. But her eyes look actually don't even look that bad to me. My throat feels worse than her eyes look in spring allergies are worse just in general so i've been going through that and today it's just this eye so although let me i know shut up Gigi. i am in a different part of the country where i feel like spring here is accelerated so in the kentuckys it might be a slower rollout of spring but i usually don't get them this late but it could be that or like i said it could be me just screaming like a girl ah my high-pitched screaming in the middle of a, a baseball game fun um also i want to give you guys an update on my booster shot so as you guys can see she is a little bruised. Um, I, I'm pretty sure this is a normal symptom. I'm not trying to be like whatever, but I, it, there's a huge, it just feels like um, a rock is just like under the shot. It is a big, big bump. I did not. I didn't have that. I just had soreness of the arm, but that's it. I never got, I don't save the, the vaccine political discussions. I don't care. Keep them out of my comments. I never had any symptoms with the vaccine or with the booster. Um, except for I had a, so well, that's my left arm. I had a sore arm and that was it. It felt like. I feel like I had a sunburn. I have that with my first two COVID vaccines. 
and I have not heard of anyone else having that. Um, I'm sure it's just a common symptom. I'm not a special case, but I do want to let you guys know that that has been kind of worrisome. I just want to let you guys know that that is a symptom that I'm having, but I didn't get sick or anything like that. Look at this little one right here. Um, also, and it also attracts cats. Ugh, if my booster attracted cats, I'd unboost myself. I want to give you guys an update. I have figured, I have figured, what am I saying? I have finished the Wicker King. And so there will be- What is that about? A guy who opens a furniture store and makes uh, wicker stuff? Some spoilers, so I don't know if you guys plan on reading this or not. Um, I'm not gonna go, well, actually, I'm definitely gonna give the twist at the end because there was a twist at the end. If you don't plan on reading it or you don't care, then listen, you guys will enjoy this twist. Or I hope so. Why would you, okay, Amberlynn Reed. <laughs> what if there are people who want to read that book? They're now gonna turn your video off or they're gonna fast forward. I don't know, I'll probably gonna watch it. I don't care. I don't know what The Wicker King is, I'm not interested. But like, if I was wanting to read that, you just lost a viewer. I would just be like, forget it. I'm going to shut this video off. Okay, so you go into this and you think this kid named Jack is either schizophrenic or you start to believe his fantasy and you start to think that maybe this story is going to be like a fantasy story or... He talks to dead people, am I right? Fairy tale land. Um, you aren't sure. So you're going back and forth and there, uh, it is a gay romance. So the love interest is a guy. They're best friends. Um, it's Jack and August. He talks to dead gay people, am I right? And Jack is the one with possible schizophrenia, or is he telling the truth? Like, is this really happening? He's the only one who sees. Would it be dead gay people or gay dead people? I guess it's the same thing, right? If you talk to gay dead people or I talk to dead gay people, I guess it's the same. I'm not sure if there's an order of operations when it comes to adjectizing. <laughs> when it comes to um, uh, adjectives, adjective. I'm trying to make a new word. When it comes to adjectivizing my people. It. So August believes, starts to believe Jack and uh, he actually sets this building on fire and they end up both going to like this mental hospital and like getting in trouble for great, it. Great, great, great. Um, so August ends up actually having to pay for the consequences of arson while... I don't know what's worse, coming into a video and being bombarded with the damn fashion show or coming into a video and being bombarded with Oprah's book club. Amberlynn Reed, I don't care. Where are the groceries? Where's the lamb? Jack does not because it turns out what Jack was not schizophrenic. And he's not and gay. Jack was not seeing some fairy tale land or something. Jack doesn't exist. I'm telling you, he's dead. And he probably wasn't gay either because Jack sounds like a real peach. Fantasy land that was real. Jack had a tumor. Oh no. A tumor in his brain that was oh. causing him to hallucinate. I was not expecting that. I love a little twist. That is a small twist. I didn't know there was going to be one in this. Ah, you know what? And it makes sense because you hear about people who have brain tumors. That's kind of like they get obviously headaches and stuff, but it also can cause um hallucinations but i never would have guessed that my mind went straight for for dead and possibly gay take do with that what you will um i thoroughly enjoyed it i am now out of my reading slump because I my hair's the best i know i got out of bed and i said i'm gonna watch amberlynn read i'm sorry i put no effort into today's look i usually don't though let's get real here i don't care but you know i feel like i should at least explain myself why i look like i just rolled out of bed because spoiler alert i did i've started another book it's called just get home by bridget foley it is about an earthquake that happens in two oh god just get home literally could be the title of uh, a memoir written by any immigrant child in america most anyway immigrant parent oh, look at my hair i made it worse immigrant <laughs> immigrant parents are the strictest like you better get home if you're late from your curfew doors get locked if you get arrested don't call me. So like whenever I'd call home or like my sister would call me, I would always be like, when are you coming home? Just get home. So yeah, if I've read a memoir about being a child of immigrants, it's going to be called Just Get Home. I'd probably throw a swear in there because there was usually a curse word or two. People end up um, meeting and trying to survive the earthquake and try to make it home. One is a foster child and one is a mother trying to get home. That's great. So they meet and I have a hypothesis that what's going to happen is like um, the older lady is going to end up adopting the foster child. Um, they are just good for her strangers in the beginning obviously they haven't yet met i am on page 61 so i'm on chapter seven do they go on a grocery haul as they're escaping death haven't already I, I am enjoying it and the earthquake did just happen and they haven't met yet or anything like that so i'm rambling but i did want to give you guys an update that i am back to reading again and yeah. i'm enjoying it i gotta get back to reading again too oh this youtube thing totally derailed my reading okay you guys so i have a pretty decent sized grocery haul for you salmon first things first we have some salmon a big win for the salmon we have some honey nut Cheerio. At least it's not Fruit Loops. Got some cheese and garlic croutons. Fail, you don't need croutons. Got some cucumbers. Big win. My favorite lunch meat, and pretty much the only that I will have, is a rotisserie seasoned chicken breast by Deli. Fail, not because it's unhealthy. I don't know anything about it really. Fail because it's just deli meat, and I don't like deli meat. Fresh. Got some pork chops. I'm giving a win for the pork chops. Everyone needs a little pork once in a while. Two things of zucchini. Love zucchini. 
a garlic and herb laughing cow. Giving her a win for those. Those are actually really good, low in calorie. And I just love, they're so satisfying when you open one. It's got the string around the actual container on the outside. And then there's eight little wedges. Is it eight or two? Oh, it's eight. It's right there. Eight little wedges that when you take a wedge out, it's got a little red, at least it used to be. It's been a while. It's got a little red pull tab. And when you pull it, it opens up the top of the chi. Remember in The Little Mermaid when the little oyster opens at the beginning and our sister Ariel and Ariel's not in the oyster? Well, this is like opening the oyster and Ariel being there, but Ariel's like way better than Ariel could ever be because she's garlic and herb creamy cheese. Amazing. Oh, cheese spread, some milk. Uh, big loss for the milk. Why are we still drinking milk? Join the, the 20, what century are we in? 21st century? Join the 21st century, Amber. No more milk. Ugh, more turkey breast. And this is the one that my girlfriend uses. Look, browns with caramel color. What does that mean? Because to me, that doesn't sound like it's like, it doesn't, I mean, I guess it is. But when I hear, when I like, I would say browned in the oven. But when I see browned with caramel color, that tells me, did you add something to it to make it look like it was brown? Like, doesn't it sound, it looks too specific. Like, why not just browned in the oven? Browned with caramel color. Sounds artificial. This is the turkey breast by Deli Fresh. Got some broccoli, Win. some peppered salami. No, no, no use for that pass. I'm gonna put on my sandwiches. Some feta cheese for salad. I love feta cheese. Not the healthiest, but I'm giving you a win because I love feta cheese and there's nothing better than a Greek salad with feta cheese on top. Uh, but like, I like the big blocks of feta cheese. There's a restaurant near me that puts long blocks of it on your, on your Greek salad and it is just so, just so sexy and delicious. Salads, some honey. Yeah. Whole wheat. 45 bread. calories a slice. I'll let her have that. Eiffel Sarah Lee bread, which is a low calorie. 45 calories per one slice. And then another one of these garlic and herb. Oh, I'm like, am I having deja vu that I rewind? Why, why are we doing everything twice? Amberlynn Reed, future grocery hauls. Put all of your items that are alike together. I bought two laughing cows. I bought two of these, two turkey breasticles in a in deli meat form. Why are we like, why are we doing a carousel? Spreadables and then some romaine leaves. Perfect. Let's do Akinator. Oh, is that, is that a, is that a, I don't want to say the name. Is that an Amazon? Is that how they look like now? Is that a dot or is that a Google? Akinator can also guess animal species, objects, concepts, movie titles. I can read your mind. Think of a character. I will try to guess it. Are you ready? Yes. Baconator? Is your character's gender female? Yes. Is your character over 20 years old? Yes. Does your character personally know you? No. Is your character a YouTuber? Yes. I see. Is your character a gamer? No. Is your character Indian? No. Has your character- This is the worst game of Guess Who ever. Remember Guess Who? I used to love Guess Who. Do you have a beard? And you'd have little little uh, people on your little tab and you would have to knock them down. But I would always be like, is your character big, fat, and bald? And then I'd get in trouble. That's against the rules. I'm like, where does it say that? And doesn't say it anywhere in the rules. Is your character big, fat, and bald? Yes or no? Character ever been pregnant? No. Does your character have dark hair? Yes. Is your character linked with wolves? No. Surprising. Is your character a makeup artist? No. Phew. Is your character fat? Yes. <laughs> huh. If this thing says Amberly Reed, I'm out. Is your character in love with someone of the same gender? Yes. I guess that you are thinking of Amberlyn Reed. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. <laughs> yes. I am done. I what what skill is that? I am done. I am done. I'm not really done because I want to see what the hell she thinks of Lamb, but I am metaphorically is it metaphorically? done what is that is that an is that an amazon or is that a google and what what um what should baconator I'll, I'll go back during editing and get it i guess right do you want to play again no, no. good job alexa okay you guys so we oh, are it upset. is amazon okay so i have to figure out what the um god next time i should go get a haircut first but it's too early uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna i'm gonna figure out what that thing is and i'm gonna play with it all day long with this like mediterranean greek food place mm. and it's so good it's healthy but I'm about to try lamb for the first time, so I wanted to find Healthy subjective. Greek food does have a lot of fat, because like they, we love that we, I'm not Greek. Boy, do I wish I was. Uh, uh, like the, the the creams and the oils, like um, uh, tzatziki sauce, that's a yogurt base. It's a little fatty. I think I'm, a lot of olive oil is a little fatty. But it's not like healthy, healthy, but it's better than going to like a fast food joint and a pizza. Pizza. I well, myself doing it. I'm ready. <laughs> is that lamb? I don't like it. I don't yeah. like the texture. Yeah, th maybe that's what it was, texture. It's very like soft, it's like too soft. Cause I like my stuff kind of dry. So yeah, let me show you guys what I get, it's so good. So it's super simple, feta. Oh, so good. I get good. the chicken, it's so good, uh, some veggies, some rice. Is it too early to have Greek food? 
And I've never had oh, falafel before. So. I love Love, love, love. My old boss many, 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 many years ago, her husband had a restaurant. Um, they were Armenian, but he did like a lot of Mediterranean food. And he had made the best falafel wraps. And she would just leave for lunch sometimes and come back and surprise herself with lunch. And she always got me a falafel wrap. And I would sit in my little cubicle with tears of falafel joy coming down my face. <sighs> So, if you don't know what falafel is, it's pretty much fried mashed chickpeas. It's mashed chickpeas with a seasoning and like a breading or whatever, and they fry it. It's so good. I wanted to try it. It's I vegetarian. Have... There's no meat in a falafel. I just like this little salad. So, yeah, and she gets so good the lamb. Ugh. So, yeah, this place is amazing. Definitely like my favorite food lately. Great. Oh, I love the walking song, especially when it's on 1.5. Hi, Twinkie. So pretty. Okay. No outro. We all know how much that upsets me, but it's okay. She gave me one of these. So at least she kind of said goodbye to me, which is fine. She's reading again. Uh, she's reading two books. So she read one book and she's reading another book that I don't care about. She spoiled one of them. Bad move, Amberlynn Reed. You might have lost a viewer or two. Or maybe they fast-forwarded. I don't know. So she's reading again. Super excited for her, I guess. Um, I love that game she played on the Amazon thing. I want to figure... I think it's called Baconator. I don't know. Probably not Baconator because I feel like Wendy's would sue. But when I'm editing the video, I'm definitely going to write it down. And I'm going to try to see if I can get it to guess her or somebody else. Super excited for that. Uh, the grocery haul was okay. Uh, it wasn't really a huge haul. She had the salmon. That was good. Uh, she bought a bunch of deli meat. Uh, she bought the laughing cow cheese. That wasn't too bad. What else did she buy? I'm skimming through. Oh, croutons. I don't know why. The Cheerios, again, better than tricks of Lucky Chops or Fruity Pebbles. But again, cereal to me is a dangerous food because I can have one bowl and immediately have two bowls after that. So it's very hard for me to keep cereal in the house unless I'm being very, very careful with counting my macros and I'm weighing everything. But if I'm just like having it in the house and I'm not caring about a diet... I could plot through half a box of cereal like it was nobody's business. So I tried to buy it um, as much, but sometimes I'll buy it as a treat, but only when I'm like super counting, counting macros uh, big time. She bought some vegetables too. I think zucchini, some broccoli. So it wasn't a horrible haul. I didn't really see a lot of processed food. Is deli meat considered processed food? I think it is, right? And I was a little worried about um, browning, browned with caramel color. That sounds weird to me, but I don't know. To me, that just screams artificial, but hey, do you. Uh, the Greek food looked delicious. Amberlynn Reed, I'm so happy you don't like lamb. I feel like you and I are sisters from another mister. Um, because I, maybe that's what it was. It was a texture thing, but I think there was also like a, a sourness or a bitterness to it. I don't know. If you love lamb or hate lamb, actually, if you love lamb, I don't care. If you hate lamb, tell me down below why you hate it. I'm curious to see what your critique is. And then she ended it with a lovely walk out with Twinkie walking her little feet were shuffling she was doing some of these and the, i love the walking music still no weight loss update i don't think i'm ever gonna get one i think i'm gonna i think they're gonna find me in this chair uh in like 100 years from now uh I, i'm deceased uh, waiting for a weight loss update and she'll probably that day upload in the grocery haul because she doesn't care about me but it's okay i'm only here for entertainment i would love to know how much she weighs but in the meantime i'm having a great time anyway that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have yet subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe line down below. Click the bell next to it to be alerted every time I upload new content. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Bam, bam. Oops, I shook the desk. Did I just shake? It was an earthquake. It was my fat arms hitting the desk. It's not. I'm not in that damn book where everyone's going to adopt each other after an earthquake. I just have clumsy arms. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Giving this video a thumbs up means you like my videos. We like my videos. Means you like my means you like my channel. We like my channel. My channel grows. And feel free to share this video on other social media. Also, feel free to join us in the Discord. I have a link down below in the description. It's not just for chatting. It's a great way to be updated every time I upload a video because Discord notifies you and sometimes does a better job than here. And don't forget, right below the video, mugs. One black, one white. Hashtag GG was right on one side. My cute little logo on the other. Okay? There's a black one. There's a white one. If you like the white one, get it. But the black one's just so much sleeker. Look how nice the black one looks. If I walked around in public with this black mug right now, I feel like people would give me money for no reason. You should try it. Let me know how it works out. Anyway, as always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And most of all, thank you for watching. And until next time.